This is my apartment block. I'm gonna show you within the building, I'm gonna show you the gym, the facilities, how much money I'm spending on this place, and all the rest. Let's get into the video. Manila arrival, I'm here for one day. Whew, let's make it count. This is MRR, Manila River City Residences. And there's all sorts of buildings here. So we're in a building called Euphrates, which is down the end here, right next to the basketball court, which we'll check out shortly. You come in here and they have security that are taking number plates and taking IDs for anyone that comes into the building. So it's super protected. Uh, although I didn't give up my address and my room number, I would have been happy to do it just because I know the security here is tight and people can't get in so easily. Keep coming. Now, if you have a look down there, you'll see there is a lot of gardening that goes on here. It's not just the buildings with low maintenance, if you have a look. Yeah, it's all oh, smoking area. So there is actually a lot of work that goes into this place. The, uh, the gardening and the maintenance crew work very well to keep everything nice, including the pool. The basketball court is often clean and there's public toilet and the gym is bloody great as well. Now, as for parking, the underground parking is a little bit limited. So I've got some friends. Uh, that I know from the basketball community that actually go a few places down and you know pay someone off to take care of their motorbike for them. Now we're going to do the room last because that is the cherry on the cake but first we're going to go for a look into the gym. There's my brother up there. He's a good lad. Now my membership has expired because I haven't been here for three weeks but I know he's going to let me in for a little gym tour. So let's go this way. This is the admin. Actually before we duck in now I suggest we have a quick look at the pool. So you'll see the condition that it's in. It's very hot here in Manila at the moment. Check out how high those buildings are as well. Every single apartment has someone that lives in it, which is pretty crazy. Hundreds of people live in this community. Now, this is the gym pass. Let's see if it still works. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, it works. Ooh, it still works. Come along. Hey, mate, how you going? Hello. We're not gonna sign in, man, because we're just gonna go for a quick walk. All right, no worries. So, you'll see, this is the second floor. Uh, we haven't been down there yet, but that is where the road actually goes around. There's essentially an island in the middle, which is where we are in the gym, and then the building surrounds. So the cars that come in will do a loop and just go out. No needing to do three-point turns and all that sort of jazz. The pool table here, which is a big one. See a lot of people using that in the evening. That's when this gym is most busy. Some big heavy-duty air cons here. Yeah. All your exercise bikes here, which are great for your cardio, all your weights, got the squat rack, bench press, got the cable, lap pull down, peg deck, uh, three in one cable, and then all your seats and all the dumbbells over there. So the gym was 1,000 pesos for 30 days. So you're paying about 30 pesos a day, which is just shy of one Australian dollar and about half one US dollar. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Now that we've checked out the gym, had a quick look in the pool, I think we go check out the basketball pool, which is my favorite part of this facility since I'm a basketball fan. And this is the court right here we're rolling into. Once again, shout out to the gardeners here. They do a great job, it's very clean. No leads on the floor as they come in for a sweep every morning. And this is where I spent a lot of my time, right here in the MRR basketball community. Anyway, let's move on. Let's go check out the room. I'm gonna tell you guys all the prices and that. Look forward to it. Here, Jane, let me hit a three. After I hit this three. Okay, one more. I'm One more. You ready? Go like this. Three. So this is the underground area. We've just finished our Red Bull and we're going up to check out the room. Now, one cool thing here is this lady in room 04 has a little restaurant. So if you ever want snacks late at night, like some chips, you just have to come down to her room. So 7-Eleven is not the only option. And we're in the elevator. You just scan it and it automatically puts your number in. I know, right? It's a sketchy looking elevator. <laughs> but it's never given us problems. The only thing with the elevator is some of the paint scraps. So that's a very minor issue, if you ask me. Now we're out of the elevator. We are this way. Now, it's worth noting that I don't live here anymore. This is my last day in Manila. I am going to Thailand uh, literally tonight. So I thought I would come here 
and film a video and show you guys exactly what's going on. But yeah, so we will start this way. This will bring you to the curtains. Now, the good thing about these curtains, okay, this curtain wasn't so great because people could see us through that building, but the curtains over here will actually go here. I could leave open during the night and then in the morning, I would get natural sunlight that would wake us up nice and early around 6 to 7 a.m. So that was really good. When you look out here, you will see the Pasig, <clears throat> you will see the Pasig River, which I did mention earlier. This is the bed. Now, the bed was kind of comfy. The springs here are a bit damaged, so it like takes you down a little bit. Not to complain about that though. I mean, it's still a bed. It's a decent mattress, probably like a two out of 10, but anyway. This is the wardrobe. Jay's still got some clothes in there. Fair bit of storage room here. It's important if you've got bags and stuff. Our issue was actually knowing where to put the bags so we stuffed them up here. So if you're ever staying in one of these places, you're probably gonna get a wardrobe similar to this. Make sure to put all your bags on the top because that extra bit of room get put away, it's gonna do you measures. Now, the mirrors here, I'm big on mirrors. I like checking myself out, not gonna lie. So this was a big bonus. Jane did all her makeups and stuff there. Like I said, massive bonus. Jane didn't need to carry around one of those little mirrors, although she still does. For my contact lens. Contact lens. And this was the couch. <sighs> didn't spend a whole lot of time on this couch here, but yeah, not a bad couch. I mean, I never had to sleep on this couch. That's a good sign. It means we didn't argue too much. This was the fan that came with the room and I will go over here to the air conditioning. Not the greatest aircon in the world, but it certainly did the job. Uh, the only thing that sucked about this, <clears throat> the thing I was least happy about this place is the shitty blankets that they give you. Now, I know that it's Manila or whatever, but there's gonna be nights where you've got the aircon on, you've got a fan on, and you're gonna want something a bit thicker, man. Like, come on, like, look at this. Hey, am I being ungrateful? Maybe deep within your mind you think I'm being ungrateful, but I'm just being honest, man. Like, look at this. This is like one of those crappy material dresses that women wear. This isn't meant to be a blanket. By the way, if you're a woman and you wear those dresses, they look all right, as long as you look good. But fucking blankets, <clears throat> blankets in Manila, big no-no. Now, the fridge was pretty sweet. Enough freezer room. Ooh, we were having a lot of frozen, uh, we're having a lot of frozen fruits because you can just put them in a blender and it's super easy. Jane's got her wine. For food, we went shopping twice a week, one kilogram of chicken breast, which cost us 350 pesos, and another kilogram of lean beef, the mince, which cost us 350 or so. So about 30, probably about $10 a day on food. That was eating two meals a day, lunch and dinner, and not eating out at all. We were living quite cheaply there for a bit until I got back on the road and went to Sikihor and all that and lost a lot of my money. So that's how it goes. Now for the water, this is super important because this saved us a lot of money. Our buddy George, there is his business right there. I know that's probably back to front, but I will reverse this frame so you can read that properly. He does refills for 40 pesos, which is just over, just a smidge of over one Australian dollar absolute bonus you buy this off him for like 100 pesos and then he will come and refill it whenever you want so this was massive because usually you buy a two liter bottle of water for like 60 80 pesos so you'll either get 10 liters for 40 pesos or you get one shitty plastic bottle of water from 7-eleven for double the price anyway let's check out the bathroom here now this is where the real bonuses come in because it's like is this light working yeah it's like, do you have hot water? What's the shower like? Do you have a washing machine? Does it dry? All that sort of stuff. Well, the bonuses are certainly here. So we have all this stuff in here. It's confusing at first if you're a Westerner. So the shower head is just a normalized shower head, not a lot of pressure. That's the pressure. Now, I've been to places where it's worse, but certainly if you're from a Western country, you're probably used to like really high pressure water. Not to compare too much, but you know, I'm expecting foreigners to watch this video. Uh, and then you'll get the tap down the bottom. This is for bucket washing mainly, which is really popular here. And it's actually quite a useful way to do it because you just get a scoop, scoop in the bucket and wash yourself like that. It saves a lot of water and it's actually quite effective. And then you have the actual handle here as well, which is probably for, you know, deep under, all those sorts of spots. Now this is the washing machine, which does chew through a bit of electricity, but nonetheless did a wicked job 
uh, we ended up drying our clothes through there over near the window. So that was good for us. It does have a toilet holds. <clears throat> now we do have a toilet paper holster, which you won't find a lot here in the Philippines. So big bonus there as well. The toilet flushed. We didn't get the little handle sprayer. So that is straight going to the bum bum. So that's how that works. As you see it come out slowly and psh, projectile water onto the floor. So not being used too effectively in this scenario. Okay, anyway, <laughs> there's a little segment on our toilet. We are heading out now. That is pretty much it. Now, the room, 18,000 pesos per month. Okay, so I'm gonna put the US dollar and the Australian dollar conversion below. Now the electricity, roughly 700 pesos a month. There's your US and Australian conversion. Quite cheap, definitely cheaper than in Western countries. This is MRR, my community for one month. MRR, thank you for having me. This is Butsy, over and out.